Welcome to a flying dog tutorial. In this video we will learn about how to make in and out painting. First I create a new document with 1500 to 1500 pixels. Make sure that it is transparent. Before you start using the plugin please add a selection. You can use the selection button here. Now click on from text and type in flowers. I am using the gRPC server here now in this tutorial. Click on OK. The AI generates now images of flowers. Click on the info icon to get information about the task. Click on the task itself to open preview window. Here I choose the second one which looks nice. I activate selection mode in Photoshop now and the selection is used as an AI generation window. I move it to the right so that it half overlaps the image. I recommend to activate the use all visible layers option in settings. I am using the eraser to remove the text. I click on in, out painting to start out painting now. I select the task and the window opens again. No I switch to the layer mode. I browse now through the generated images, select one and close the preview. You see the flower image has been perfectly extended. I repeat the process now. The lettering from the last picture has also been extended. I remove it on both layers and do another outpaint. And again. I move now the selection to the next row. If you have DAL E2 configuration activated you can switch to it and continue outpainting there. It uses larger area for image generation. I finish now the outpainting to cover all the canvas. You will find the link to the image for the next example in the description. First I will try the build in content aware fill. Results are not very good. Now I will make a copy of the background layer by dropping it on the plus icon and make it invisible. Now I select the eraser. I prefer to use the pencil mode because it is needed for Dale 2. For the gRPC server it does not make a difference but I recommend it anyway. Also I set it to full hardness.
Now I remove the crane in the lower part which covers the house. I make a square selection now and select also the surroundings. I click on In, Out Painting and type in Houses. Looks good now. Before I continue I merge the two layers. And erase the other parts of the crane. I will do the inpainting in two steps. As prompt I use just sky. You see that the top of the building in the back has also been restored. You see that you do not need content aware fill anymore. It also offers different variations for the tip of the church. Nice. In this lesson I am using an image from unsplash.com. You will find a link to the image in the video description. First I resize the image to 1500 pixels in width. I extend the canvas to 2500 pixels and please make sure that the image is left aligned. I prefer to use the eraser in pencil mode with full hardness. The gRPC server does not care about this but for DALL-A 2 it is required. The meadow does not look very nice in this wedding photo so I remove the brown stones here. Now I select the erased part and also something outside of it so that the AI gets some context. I told the AI that I want to see a meadow with flowers. Often it is needed to play around a bit to find a good matching prompt to the scene. With the info icon I am getting a quick preview. I am switching to layer preview. I am merging the layers and remove some more parts of the scene. I make another infill now.
and again. This time I change the selection a bit. It is impressive how the results are fitting in a very natural way to the scene. It does not look like a fake. I will show that the content aware fill does not a very good job here as well. I will make an infill with a sky prompt like in last lesson. Now I use an outpaint to enlarge the landscape. It is very similar like in the first lesson. Make sure to cover enough parts of image as well. You see that there are nice results here and I think I will take this one. I checked before and after the AI retouching now, nice. But I want something more. No I want to add a castle in the forest in the background. Sometimes the AI fills only the background even if there is a new object requested. In this case try to change selection and prompt. But now we have some nice castles to choose from, cool. Now I import an image which I generated with the Midjourney AI. Midjourney offers the best quality at the moment. AI. So a direct integration of Midjourney in our plugin would be amazing. You see that there are some glitches in this generated image like bad looking hand or face. We try to fix it now. This is not so easy because AI generated hands are always difficult and here we have similar tone of skin in desert. First I make a selection of upper body so the AI has got size reference for a new hand. I remove old one. I am requesting 9 images now because most will not be good. I will try again. It would be also possible to try generating hands in Dale 2 instead. As you can see most hands are not so good and I realize that the AI do not know that this should belong to an human. I guess the sand confuses it here. So I change the prompt to a female hand and try again.
Did I mention already that a direct integration of Midjourney would be nice? So we need a Midjourney application programming interface short called AP. What do you want for Christmas? I wish Santa brings me a Midjourney API. Midjourn. Oh, where did that bad editing came from? Must have been inhuman. Third try now. I added photo to the modifier and beautiful to the prompt. Now it looks good and she is holding some plant. Nice. I switch the face now. Should be easy. Cool. I forgot to record the video but I also fixed the leg position. Thanks for watching the tutorial. More to come.